Hi, welcome to our channel TrueUp. Do you know which of the four well-known worldwide satellite systems is which? GPS in the United States, GLONASS in Russia, Galileo in the European Union, and the Beidou Satellite Navigation System in China are the systems. Everyone has probably heard of China Beidou when I mention it. Do you, however, fully comprehend the Beidou system? What is the history of the Beidou system and what are its key applications? The creation of the Beidou satellite project in China's aerospace sector has supplied China with worldwide satellite navigation capacity. The US has GPS, but China has Beidou. China is likewise progressively weaning itself off its dependency on GPS technology developed by the United States. Beidou has developed into a worldwide satellite navigation system behemoth after decades of painstaking labor. China has already overtaken and outperformed the U.S. GPS in the application of Beidou, rendering the U.S. aircraft carrier obsolete. How powerful is Beidou? Beidou has began to advance towards the world after achieving its autonomous application, how is Beidou's globalization and marketization progressing? How crucial is it to master an independent satellite navigation system in order to upgrade and beat China's Beidou? The answer is obvious, all civilian navigation and location operations require the assistance of satellite navigation systems. The importance of the higher-level military field is considerably greater. Only with the satellite navigation system in hand can it be autonomously controlled and self-sufficient, ensuring the reliability of operations in diverse domains without relying on the US GPS. If you use GPS all the time, there may be no problem for a while, but according to the American practice, it is difficult to say when the critical moment is reached. China's Beidou system was built nearly 20 years later than the US GPS. In 1994, the GPS in the United States was fully completed, becoming the world's first global satellite navigation system. In the Chinese New Year, my country began to independently develop a satellite navigation system. In the naming, the reason why it was named after the Big Dipper is because the ancestors of the descendants of Yen and Huang used the Big Dipper to identify the direction. I intended to take a curve to overtake when I chose to design the Beidou system. Because, at the time, the United States had established a monopoly in the field of satellite placement with GPS, and Russia's GLONASS worldwide network had also been built. If our country follows the route of Europe and America, it will always be a chaser, like an apprentice, and I don't know when it will catch up. Given the fact that GPS has gained an overwhelming advantage in the United States, if you want to overtake, you must find another route. Fortunately, China has recognized Beidou's worldwide independent networking. It has deployed Beidou to diverse domains to accomplish faultless deployment while completing the autonomous and controlled satellite navigation system. Now that there is Beidou, the GPS navigation markings may be altered, rendering the U.S. aircraft carrier worthless and useless. What exactly is going on? Why may Beidou disable the American GPS function? The U.S. aircraft carrier lost its location signal at sea when Beidou replaced the GPS navigation mark while traveling in the South China Sea. Without the assistance of GPS beacons, it is easy to become disoriented in the vast ocean. After being replaced, the Beidou America is inoperable, much like a guy with his eyes covered and unable to find his way. This is a typical scenario of Beidou replacing GPS, and it further validates Beidou's capacity to carry out autonomous navigation applications, giving assurance for some marine activities. Beidou has overtaken the US GPS and reached millimeter-level monitoring, in addition to becoming a product that can replace the US GPS. In practice, Joshan City, Zhejiang Province, will deploy the Beidou 3 system to monitor activities in 2021, with the goal of completing the whole day. At 1.2 nanometers, the millimeter-level monitoring impact is precise. Even GPS may not be able to produce such monitoring performance impacts. How powerful is China's Beidou? We may all be seen in one situation after another, and the replacement and transcendence attained are visible to all. Beidou has penetrated all aspects of life, and the next phase of Beidou will be globalization and marketization. So, how is Beidou advancing in these two directions? First, consider Beidou's globalization process. Beidou is a worldwide satellite navigation system with global coverage and application. According to reported successes, Beidou has signed cooperation agreements with 137 nations, 
and countries have progressively begun to employ Beidou as a civilian navigation terminal service. Beidou-derived products have been pushed in a variety of marketplaces, offering considerable ease to people's life services. Some worldwide chip companies' products have been modified to Beidou services. Since the iPhone 12, for example, Apple has supported the Beidou feature. The global market introduction of these devices would considerably expand the reach of Beidou service users. Consider marketization next. Beidou's level of marketization is simply beyond belief. Beidou appears to be far off from everyone's lives, yet in reality, Beidou has penetrated every aspect of people's livelihood markets. Recently, the ubiquitous mobile phone has been pre-installed with the Beidou function from the moment it leaves the factory. Beidou was supported on 324 million mobile phones delivered last year. There will be 7.9 million running cars equipped with Beidou by the end of 2021. These are the results of Beidou's continual marketization development, yet they are simply the top of the iceberg. Subdivided into energy, transportation, power, communications, and other infrastructure, Beidou's market use is also accelerating. Of course, marketing Beidou requires everyone's cooperation, and more domestic producers and consumers are needed to participate. On the basis of the Beidou system, domestic producers can conduct positioning chip research. There is still a gap in Beidou's indoor placement at the moment. If this segment of the market need can be met, the practical use of Beidou will become more extensive. Globalization and marketization in Beidou have made good progress. Today's Beidou is not just confined to location and navigation tasks, more importantly, Beidou's autonomous networking has far-reaching implications. Beidou permits industrial growth to proceed in an autonomous and controllable manner. It is predicted to reach an industrial size of 400 billion yuan in the future, creating a massive market area. Foreign technological behemoths will also be involved in Beidou's product development and adaption applications at that time, and Beidou will be among the finest in the global satellite navigation system market. Using its own technology and goods is more trustworthy than using GPS, which is full of variables at all times. Of course, this does not exclude the usage of GPS, which can still be useful when necessary. It's only that you don't have to worry about whether or not you can use GPS with Beidou. In summary, after viewing our film, I believe you now understand how powerful China Beidou is. The solution is self-evident. China Beidou outperforms the US GPS and achieves substitutability in a variety of domains. Beidou causes the US aircraft carrier to lose its bearings in the absence of GPS beacons. This is only the tip of the iceberg in terms of Beidou's power. Beidou has made significant progress in terms of globalization and marketization and anticipates even better results in the future. Thanks for watching our video. We would appreciate it if you subscribed our channel and gave us a thumb. See you.